And welcome back to our immersion RP. I know it's been four long months and we are finally back. I have to say so. I was not expecting to come back in 2024, but we are back starting with our recording of episode 28. Gonna start out here with my new character here, um, Jonathan Butlicker. Just riding around on a bicycle. I'd use his uh, car. But right now, I just want to keep things simple. By, um. Yeah. Keep things simple. Seeing what we got new in server since last time I recorded a video, which was four months ago, actually, back in October. So it's actually nice to be back. Our team speak rolling. Cat open. See what's um shaking. Oh, we got the add on roads here. Nice. I'm trying to think. I don't think I ever gave this guy a house. Yeah, I did. It's a uh, three six seven. I just take a shortcut to get there. Oh, there's a three seven nine in here. Off for a buggy. Ow, that's a sign. We're just gonna be pain and misery. I should just try to do some form of challenges in RP and see what happens. But I think I'm going to go pick up my uh, uh, cat. I think instead of using a, um, real life cars like what everyone else uses, I'm going to just use GTA vehicles. Just, be, just to uh, stand out among the rest of the folks. But we're going to go up here and we're going to grab a vehicle from my house. And we'll register it. Come on. I always hate going up this dirt road. So, I mean, if that haunted mansion is up here... I could probably use it for Halloween this year. That's if we have it, of course. I hope this house has an interior. I think it does or it might not. I think it used to. Does this house have an interior? Because I think I put it that this guy lives here. No, it does not. Well, at least not yet. What about the barn? Can I go in the barn? No. Ah. Let's see. Um... Or do I want to? Ooh. Idiot and gone. You know what? I could use this car. You know what? We'll use this car. We'll use the DeLorean. Why not? Or we just say it's the Deluxo, but it looks like the real thing. I 
Okay, that actually worked. Now let me actually check the CAD here. I think I forgot to start patrol. Johnson Boat Liquor. I need that insurance to be valid. And we are set. Channel group changed. Oh. Oh, I changed everything. So I can get out here. See what we can get into. This thing, I'm not gonna do anything stupid about it. Maybe a little speed run up to 88. Even though, in actuality, the DeLorean would take a very long time to get up to 88. User left your channel. Which is, um. Why did they upgrade the motor? Like, I want to leave enough room between me and the gas pump. Does this gas station not work? No, it's one of those gas stations that does not work. Okay. Oh, wait, do we not have a vehicle hood? Oh wait, we don't have a vehicle head or anything yet. Oof. I completely forgot, I'm so used to other things. Hey Marty, we're going back. Back where? Back to the future. Sorry, I had to make a back to the future joke. I feel like a lot of that will go around. I want to pass this tractor. I just wanted to pass up that tractor. I kind of want to get pulled over by Ray. Just opens up the tiny little slit in the window. Technically, if I get pulled over, I have to let it open the door. Because that crack in the window is just too small. Oh, there's a tow truck. Is that a real tow truck or is that just a fake? Amazon. Oh, you got the flywheels. Nice. Finally got in the flywheels. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, there's a train. I did not realize that there was a train. I just heard the bang. I was like, what? I almost got taken out by a train. I'm in the DeLorean and that's just PTSD waiting to happen. In any shape, matter, or form. Yeah, that is just, yeah, no. That's not, ooh. 18 wheeler driving around. Nice. I'm just trying to drive around right now and see what's what. What a beautiful night sky coming in.
I'll hit the car that the car is just sparking every time it backfires. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Do you have how many law enforcement officers? I'm I'm just curious to see how many people are in the server. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's like five of us. That's not bad. Maybe do a quick run down the highway. Damn. Oh yeah, she could definitely get up to 80. She went 88. I just had to do my play as 88 and gone. Because why not? There's the U tool. I'm not expecting someone to be on the highway. Really, there's nobody on the highway. I'm gonna go back. Oh, I like that half. The uh, um, half full moon. That's the first time I've seen a moon face in GTA. Yeah, I'm just trying to debate what to do. Right this second. Do I wanna... Try a Back to the Future 3 enactment? That's gonna go horribly wrong. Everything about that idea would actually go wrong. Because just put the Lorian on the tracks, kaboom, it's exploded. There's no point to it. User joined your channel. Let's see. I want to get something going. No, I'm just... What the fuck? I say Billy Joel over there having a smoke. I said this. At least she has a uh, door locks, even though uh, old school back in the day. Oh, I wish there was someone here at the twenty four seven, because I'd love to do like a dispute. That would be fun. I need to find a sieve. No, it will be funny is that you just... Oh, 
Let's see if I can pass by the station to it exactly. I don't know what's going on. Yep. I'm going to her harmony. I feel like Ray is somewhere. I'm not trying to look for anyone in particular. I'm just driving. It's really hard to do stuff when there's like five people in server. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's exactly five somewhere in depth. Please don't let anybody be back here. No, what will be funny is... Oh, I just got the perfect idea. Is if I can find an LEO, try to accelerate past them. Accelerating or trying to accelerate to 88 miles an hour. Just uh, how to do a little meme. It is really resourceful and peaceful. I might go back to doing LEO. I might consider doing that. Just to have some different form of content. Ah, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna just open up the, uh, I I want to know where she was hiding. I'm gonna open up the door so I can uh, talk to her. Or who? I'm. I can't reach over. Hello, Captain Tubby, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for my stop: your failure to maintain lane back there. You went almost all the way completely onto the dirt. Everything all right? Yeah, this thing's just a little touchy. I understand. Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance on you? Yeah. Mind if I open the door so I can hand it to you? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, fancy. <laughs> All right, vehicle registered to you. But like, grr. Yeah, it's right straight to me. All right, your license is valid. Yep. All right, Mr. Butler, sit tight. I'll be right back with you. <laughs> oh, I like how I even put on my hazards too. I didn't even mean to put them on. I just did. Okay. Ten out of ten. You know what? Let's see. I'm be. Okay, that is sick. How long the side of his car is lit up, but I got my hazards on. This is definitely a thumbnail. User joined your channel. Now, the cool thing about DeLoreans is that you can actually drive them with the gold wing doors open. Because the doors aren't impeding the roadway. Like, if you're just cruising at a very low speed, you can drive with them open. So it's like the first time he gets to uh, 
see the DeLorean. I feel like it's been 30 years since I drove this thing. Mediating <laughs> gun. All right, Mr. Butlicker, here's all your information back. Just make sure you keep the rubber things between the lines, okay? Yep. All right, you have a good night. You too. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is sick. I'm going to take one more screenshot. Because that is, that's just nice. I can't remember how I turned on the hazards. Now I'll just play alternate blinkers. I need to try speed past the cop. Doing like almost 90. But I think you got the reference of the plate. But you're kind of all over the road there, bud. I'm like, I... These guys have some pretty good hiding spots. Like, I did not see Ray, and she pulled me over. I did not see him, and he pulled me over. That is like... I don't know where they were hiding. I'm half tempted to flip a Yui. You know what? I'm gonna flip around. Just because I'm curious to know where he was sitting. Without doing like 90, I just wanna go past them. Because I'm curious of where he was sitting. Because that's like two simple little traffic stops I've had tonight. Because I'm kind of curious to know if he was sitting in the bush or he was hiding behind a tree. I don't see him anywhere. Where was he? I kind of want to know where he was. He's gone with the wind. Yeah, I'm definitely blown away about where he was hiding. Because that's the second time someone's like, hey, bloop, oh, hi. Yeah, that AI is definitely having a spaz attack. I'm gonna go back towards Sandy Shores, maybe go to the Burger shot. I wish like I can start like a dispute or see if um, anybody wants to do a scene. I might see if anyone wants to do a scene in just a second. Cause I want to do like a dispute. Huh. Click it or tick it. Do we have like a ticket sensor in now? User disconnected from your camera. I'm kind of like wanting to do like ninety. User joined your channel. I like how, like, the train is in server. Damn, that train is booking it. Oh, like, that train, like, when the train spawns in, my game runs smooth. That is what I'm talking about. 
whatever Anderson did, my game no longer freezes. Which is nice. It used to freeze all the time when we had the train. I wonder where that cop's going. It would be nice if we had like a store robbery script or something. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? I'm about to try the speed challenge. So far, I've gotten two warnings. I keep getting warnings every time I'm in server. I just want to get the first ticket of the year. Which would be nice. You know what? I'm going to go start right. Dang, this thing has some good brakes. I kind of want to try do doing different challenges every time I'm in RP. If you guys want to see that, hit the uh, thumbs up button. And then leave a comment for what um, challenge you think I should try to do in Immersion RP and see if we can get away with it. Because I kind of want to try the speed challenge. Oh, you know what? What would be fun eventually is if I can do the pursuit challenge. Where three of us get together, kind of like in Jeff Fabiano's server. Where they uh, make each other vehicles. Either the worst or the best. And they try to run from the cops. That's something I would be open to trying. They just have to be well coordinated. So that no one's um, having metagaming or anything. Like it's well coordinated. We all wait until one person gets away and then the other one does their pursuit. So it's not like super chaotic and we all wait like a time lapse of the priority. Did I just get pulled over by a mic? I think I did. So I'm trying to debate. I don't know where anyone is. I haven't seen another sieve. So I to gauge. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six of us. I'm not trying to cop bait. I'm just trying to drive around. They seem to find me when I can't find them. I'm just trying to... So if I could just hold 88 and go past the cop and then just disappear into a bush, they'd be like, wait, what? And the last plate that they have is 88 and gone. So like, someone just went back to the future on us. I wish I could do that. Oh, Wolf, you almost got killed by a DeLorean.
I feel like I've already gone this way like twice. I think the last RP I did here, I got into trouble because I was shooting over there. And that's where like wildlife would be engaged, but that's a protected land. I am completely baffled. I kind of want to know where that semi truck went. I am really baffled. Tokyo Drift. I'm just gonna drift to the Lorien. Alright, at this point, I'm gonna just push the 88. Yo, no, watch the next LEO try to pull me over for what I'm doing. I'm trying to get up to 80. Come on. Is that a cop? No, that's a normal sieve. This is like the perfect car to do the 88 mile an hour challenge. I feel like he's gonna be like, sir, didn't I just pull you over? I'm like, I feel like you just did. I'm like, what are you doing? Go trying to go back to the future? I am just out of. You know what? I don't have time to just push it. Passing. I need like, um, I just want to know where people are. Oh crap, that's a cop. <laughs> God dang it, every time I'm not looking for them, they manage to show up. God dang it, what is my luck? What is my luck tonight? When I'm not looking for them, they find me.
Hello. Hello there. Yeah, hi, Deputy Gabe for the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stops, I got you going 79 in a 50 zone. Darn it, I wasn't fast enough. Sorry, what? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, do you have your driver's license and registration proof insurance? Yeah. Alright, so you can scan that over for me. Also, why do you have an, uh, an SA exempt plate on your vehicle, sir? Um, I forgot I changed that a while ago. Zane's been sitting in a barn for 30 years. I will get that fixed. Alright, if you just want to hand me your ID, that'd be great. Yeah, can I open the door so I can hand it to you? Yeah, fine. Mr. Uh, Butlicker, I think you're for me, okay? <laughs> I said, darn it, I wasn't fast enough. He's like, wait, what was that? Nothing. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. He clocked me at, he clocked me at 79. I was trying to get him to clock me at 88. <laughs> uh, so I'm, quite, uh, I'm like, this thing's been sitting in a barn for 30 years. It used to be a cop car back in the day. Hey, that's going to be the story. It was kind of like scrapped and they just forgot to swap out the plate. And when they printed the plate. That's actually good. He said SA, it's a CA exempt. But no one's paying attention though. You know what? Just because, why not? <laughs> I would just open both doors. <laughs> He's gonna be like, why are you driving with the doors open? Technically with this type of car, since you can't really see out of the mirrors well, you can't actually open uh, the doors and drive. I could be completely wrong about that, but I know for this car you can. It might just depend, I guess. He's probably going to give me a citation. I mean, it's a, it's not quite super speeder. It's kind of like, what's the speed limit? The speed limit's 50. I was doing 70. I was 20 over. So you can get me for 16 plus. So, I'm late in the middle of the Category 1 and Category 2 Super Speeder. But, I won't quite call it Super Speeding, but I could be completely wrong. And I'm like thinking as an LEO. So, it's thinking like a Civ. Which, I do have a problem with that, though. Like, darn it, I wasn't fast enough. He's like, wait, what? I'm like, nothing. I think I already said that. But that would have been funny if he clocked me at the speed I wanted. But I probably shouldn't do that again. I might switch to a different vehicle. What I should do is get, like, a junker vehicle and try to get to where it's smoking. And drive it down the road and they pull me over like, yeah, I just bought this thing and it's just broken down. Maybe I could do something like that just to see this reaction. Alrighty, sir. So yep. you're giving me it's going to be for speed limits within the county or municipality, okay? Alright. So it's going to be a $500 fine sitting if you drive within the uh, speed limits set by the state. So what I need you to do is at the bottom, it's not admission of guilt. The thing is take care of it in court and pay the deal within the 30 days listed on the bottom of the citation, okay? Alright. If, if you do choose to fight it, I will be there in court and everything with my dash cam and plate logs and everything like that, okay? Yeah, I get I made it. I might have messed up. Alright, buddy. So I'm going to have you sign and then I guess you're on your way. 
Mm-hmm. All right, perfect. Here is a copy of that for you. Or past clients can be much as discarded in case you have any complaints or anything against you. You've already filed that at the police department. Mm -hmm. And here is your information back as well, okay? Thank you. All right, sir. You have a good day, okay? Success. Yep. Thanks. I just yanked that. Get out of the menu here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go down the road a little bit to our right to Rex's Diner. I'm going to go get my other vehicle so that I can do some off roading. Because, technically, once I get the off road Hellcat. My off-road kitty cat. I can do some off-roading. And maybe get in trouble doing some off-roading. Because now I kind of want to step it up. Because right now it's just... I want to try to keep it laid back. But let's go ahead and swap. I think I have it. Wildcat. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, burnout time. Thank you, it's not a fair pee because I can say I'm in the little garage there. So... Cause a little trouble. So it'll be a little bit of a longer episode just because I want to try to do some more things that make it chaotic. Without getting myself into trouble. Too much trouble. No, I literally. I'll just make the story to where I took a Hellcat. I grabbed some 31 inch wheels, Jack got some uh, coilovers, and boom. So looks like we got a couple of sieves being saved on it. It might need to tell me how to do it. The fact that I could push 95 on the dirt is insane for this car. It's like, what, 725 horse? Well, I can actually say 800. 800 I want to do a little bit off roading, but not too much. Nah, who needs roads? Oh yeah, this car has the coilovers for this. I'm totally not doing anything illegal. Ah, oh, this isn't a dirt road anymore. I completely forgot. Oh. I no, I let me see if I can. 
I can't run DRA. I don't know. So what I like about this thing is that this thing can hop any it can hop any curb. Because like like technically standard GTA wheels are 14s, which sucks. But I could roll play it as oh I put 31s on this with some awesome um overfoil tires. Oh, wait, was that Austin? How much RP that I'm getting fuel? I'm sorry to pay that me and fuel before I tear it up on the dirt. That is actually nice. I this is actually the first time I'm seeing seeing the Chiliad tunneling in like a couple of months. But this is amazing now. I kind of want to go. I mean, I have tempted to just go on the other side of the burn. Because uh, with this vehicle, it's power. But it's also like Like right there, yeah I could have torn up my Oh pen if this thing was low to the ground. But this thing is smooth as butter. That's indestructible. That too is indestructible. God damn. Ooh. Come on, 805 horsepower. Will this be considered illegal? I don't know. Technically, I'm not on the road. I just changed my game. Hang on. Sorry about that. Yep. I feel like someone was spawning in something near me. Click it or tick it. I kind of want to take it on some dunes. God 
damn it. Am I getting pulled? I'm fucking getting pulled over again. Motherfucker. <laughs> I can't win tonight. Ah, shit. My, I'm sorry. I can't seem to rip the Hellcat for five seconds. You know what? If I ha I don't have a reason to run, I'm just doing dumb shit. At this rate. Do me a favor, slow it down, okay? Uh. <laughs> well, I can stay here and he can deal with me later. Was that Anderson? Oh no, that was Cayenne. God dang it. I've been pulled over twice by him. There's something going on down here. I'm gonna see what's going on down here. It's actually not metagaming. Oh yeah, you can't keep the power of this. I wish I had a winch on the front of this Hellcat. I just want to rip. Technically, this isn't a public road. Is two fifty. Oh, it's down there. No, it's a lifted off road dodge Hellcat. It you can literally take it. Anywhere. I, I feel like I've died on this mountain a couple of times. That is a fast moving 18 wheeler. I know someone was driving an 18 wheeler.
Yeah, I don't even have that issue. Is there a tell if there was a cop? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh shit. God dang, I lost a wheel. Ah, dang it. Um. Ah. Uh, this is new. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Um, I'm, um, I might have sent her a little too hard over the mountain and I lost my tire. I don't, I don't think the nut was on yesterday. Um, how do I put this? Um, I may have hit a rock in my, I lost Terry. Can I get some help out to 255? I may have set her a little too hard. Uh, I don't have a spare tire, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> may have. Ah, uh, that's just unfortunate. This is why I can't have nice things. Duly no, Maverick can't have nice things. Ah, my half sent a little too hard. We're gonna play. What were you doing? Um. See if I want to get some that one on call. I don't know if it went through or not. But I am bleeding a little bit. He gives medical assistance. <laughs> but that, that, that hurt. Definitely, um, don't send it a little too hard. But this is a cool script, though. I don't want to just 22 this. We have how many cops? Maybe one, two. Well, no, Brady is Civ. Uh, one, two, possibly three. Eh. Help. Help, punk, help. I'm 
the walk to the road. Like, you would think as an LEO, I would just walk. I guess I'm gonna just walk into town. They're gonna be like, where's your car? I'm like, my car is wrecked. I'm trying to know more local call and see if that works. This place saying, hey, I was driving down uh, Joshua Road and I saw a car um, driving off a mountain Near Postal 255 on a dirt road. Uh, can s somebody send it? So I'd have to check them out, please. That's what I'm going to do here real quick. I'm trying the 911 local because I don't know the way if it, if Leo can see it or not. My car is disabled. I need a tow. I've tried calling 911 twice on two separate lines. Are they going to answer or am I going to just have to FRP this out even though I don't want to? And tow is all the way in freaking... Um, grapeseed. I just want to get a toe and maybe some bandages. Does this guy have a gun license? I don't think he even has a gun license. But I can have a knife. Let me just grab a knife. That is not what I want. I'm in melee. Um, I just want a knife. Can I just get a knife? Was that another cop? I would be annoyed if I have to walk to the road. No, I need a switchblade. Switchblade, where are you at? They take out the switchblade? They took out the switchblade, because it's not here. I wish I could just push the car. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this.
I cannot spell. Why are, where is my attempts to call 911 to get help? 295. I'm going to do it this way. Because they're clearly not seeing the 911 calls. I saw a cop casually drive past. Like, come on. I'm trying to do a scene and make it funny. And I know this is going to be a pretty long episode. I do apologize. I wanted to try to keep it under an hour. But I am want to do this one last scene before I wrap up this episode. I know it's a little bit boring, but it's that the least I can do after four months. I do apologize for the boringness. I do. But come on. That another cop. No, that's just another AI. What the actual hell? You know what? At this point, I could push my car all the way to the road. I'm about to go get... I'm about to go purchase me a mini tow truck. I said two five five off a dirt road. Yeah, all the way in grape seed. Four or five. There's only six of us. Also, what happened to Ray? Damn. <laughs> a freaking guy came in like a freaking wrecking ball. How's it going, sir? Uh, going, I guess. All right. You know, you look uh, a little uh, bruised up. You. Yeah, I am a little bruised up. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit. Okay. What happened? Uh, I was coming down the uh, mountain right there, and I think I hit a boulder and lost my tire. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Did you want your vehicle towed, or do you think it can be driven? Just need the new tire. I don't think my vehicle can be driven. <laughs> Think they need a new tire or no? Or do you think it needs a tow in general? Uh, tow in general. Start me a tow, 255 special. <laughs> it definitely needs okay, a tow. Okay. What's that? Alright, so we have medics, we have county medics coming, then we have actual tow coming for you, okay? Alright. Can you say that again? You kind of. Yeah, how how did you end up here? Just uh, doing some off roading and then flipped it over the hill a little too hard, or? Yeah, I'm a uh, center a little too hard. Gotcha. A little too much of that 805 horsepower. Gotcha. Did you ride to him yet? Just so I can like find who I'm talking to. You said what? You have your ID, just so I can mark down who I'm talking to. Yeah. About looking perfect here. I'll give you that back. You're still in there, so. Yeah. I kind of met my karma. Karma's, 
karma is a bitch sometimes. Uh, yeah, I kind of regret sending her a little too hard. Oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, there's a couple trees. Dang it! I was hope oh. Dang. <laughs> oh, it's Austin, my favorite deputy. He's always my favorite to see. Oh, there's no way this thing is stuck. Well, it doesn't have a tire. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it does have a tire. The tire rolled off. Uh, I'll be. <laughs> he's like, this thing doesn't look stuck. I guess he sends a little too hard over the hill and then poof. Poof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, where, where do you want to take it? To the closest mechanic shop, wherever that is. Let's take it back to the shop over here at a 27. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. Alright, well, I'll start the hookup. Let's get a $200 hookup fee and then uh, five cents a mile. Y'all good with that? Uh, yeah, looks like Scotty EMS are here. They're gonna mm. check you over. Uh, and he's here for your car, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Start waiting at the crash report, and I think beyond that, we're all good. Uh, would you be able to give him a ride as well there, Mr. Tow Truck Guy? I got him. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he doesn't rob me. Well, Why would I want to rob you? <laughs> hey, man, that's what I want to know. I've already been robbed today. All right. Well, Scotty and Mess are just going to finish up with you, and then the rest is all just the tow for here, so. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll, I'll take it there. I'll, I'll hook you up. All right. Mm -hmm. like, just slap some dirt on it. You'll be fine. <laughs> uh... I how it's freaking Austin and um Yeah, I'm Austin to a little too <laughs> I think I gave him a challenge. I like seeing that we have DOT. This was not at all what I planned, but at least I gave uh DOT something to use. Oh damn. That was cool. You need to hop in, we'll uh, head down to someone recovery. Alright. Yeah, I definitely need a new 30 inch wheel tire and a new differential because the way that tire popped off and it hit the ground. Yeah, uh. She'll be Ryan again, but next time, let's not use that hill. He should be lucky it wasn't chilly at. But that might be the next challenge for this car. I want to put this car through the test. Whether you know it it's can't withstand a boulder. Yeah, what's that? It's with the, the, the big ass tires. I just like off-roading. I just like off-roading, so I had the hell cow. I was like, why not throw some 31-inch wheels on it? Put some overcoils and have at it. I give you one for that. No, I've never seen something like this. Well, it's a first for everything. Uh, I like the fact that the car is staying on the hook. Anytime we use this tow truck in... Oh. oh. <laughs> I jinxed it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Let me just do this. Because I have the perfect thing. Because I jinxed it. And I hope that this doesn't get me copyrighted. But. Where's my recording? Let me do this. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> uh. I'm surprised that, um, ooh, oh, nope. 
I'm gonna just turn into that because that's just. He made it in. It was just jank. Let's put the hippie in there. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you can pay up front as well. Alright, how much will it be for the uh, tell? Uh, I think just 225. Alright. That's not and too bad. I think uh, it should give you a discount for coming here. Alright, thank you, sir. Oh, you got it. Oh. I just pay up front for the repairs. I should have went through the other door. I like him. He's like, I've never seen anything like this. I'm like, if you're going to throw 31 inch rims on it and you have a lot of horsepower, you might as well go to town with it, right? Of course, right. Because that's what you do. So, but it's up front. Boom. And they even gave it a wash. That's 10 out of 10 service. Right there. That's how you know that this is um, ready to rock and roll. So tanks I pay up front, the AI mechanic fixed the car. And she is good to go. I'm trying not to send her off a hill again. But guys, I think this wraps up this episode of Immersion RP. First episode of the year for my the main channel. So, without further ado, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.